Hello, so this video is going to go over creating a referral system with Bubble. So imagine you have an app, people can sign up, they get their own code, they can use this code to invite other users, and when these other users sign up, their invitation is attributed to the in, uh, kind of initial inviter. And for example, you can have a leaderboard showing who has invited the most people. So to do this, what we need is a code created upon sign up. So the way I've made my app here is there's a sign up button. It opens the reusable element sign up login pop up. This allows me to do this on any page. So I go over to this pop up. And upon sign up, what I want to do is create or set this code. I can actually even uh, do it already here in the action sign the user up. And it can just be code, and it can be a text, and it'll just be a random number string. So the way to do this with Bubble is you click Calculate Formula, generate random string, for example, with nine characters, for example, with numbers, but your choice. So every user gets this code upon sign up. And then what can happen is, for example, underneath the referral, you have a button called Refer Friend, which opens a pop-up. And this pop-up can be type user. And what it can then show is just the code text. So it shows the website home URL. And then referral, because uh, referral is the kind of subsite, so it's not the index page, but referral in this case. So if it were just the index page, you can leave it kind of free. And then question mark and r equals, and then the code. So I'll pass this code along. And so you can use this input and copy it and then paste it into someone's WhatsApp or email. OK, and then so every user has their own code here. And then when someone else signs up with that code, we wanted to recognize it and attribute it to that user. So to do this, it's again the sign up login pop up. And when we click sign the user up, we also want to make changes to a thing. We want to change a user. And we don't know which user yet, so let's do a search for user. And we want to change the user whose code text is the same as in the URL. So code text equals, and then we use get data from page URL, and then R. So it takes anything after the R and searches for users who've got exactly that code as their code, but we only expect one hit, and we can only change one user here. So it's first item. So again, we're searching for users with code text is the same as what's inside the URL. And every user upon sign up will get a code text saved to them. That's a random number string. And actually, we only need to do this when our, so for example, referral link, you can also call it referral, is not empty. Only then will it change that user. And what do we want to change? For example, we want to give that user points. So it can be this user's points plus 10. So for every referral, the initial inviter gets points. Or also, we want to save that user to the person's list of people invited. And to do this, so we're changing the initial inviter, and to the list of people invited, we're adding the current user who's just signed up because of the referral link. List of people invited, by the way, is underneath users. It's just a list of users. So I clicked list and selected users here and called it list of people invited. And then, of course, I can show this list in a pop up. So I have a pop-up user, and here we just have a repeating group, which searches the database for all users. And here it shows their email. So, it's a, so I can even increase it because it looks as if it were invisible. 
seven seven and this is also seven as the y coordinate and here we can show that current users list of people uh, invited and the count of that and also the points okay so let's have a try at this shall we so first i'm gonna log out and then i'm actually gonna go to a page which doesn't have any code And maybe I just click preview here. Then it, we can click on step by step to see what happens. So first I create a new account like uh, asset. And I click step by step and see I'm signed up and the code text is kind of associated with me and saved underneath my user. And then no user is changed to give uh, to so no points are added to anyone because currently the URL does not include a referral code. Okay, and then I might open the pop up refer friend because I love this app and want to refer it. And here I can see the referral code and copy it. Here we see again how it looks referral is the sub page and then r equals and this is the code i was given upon sign up and then i might want to log out now i want to paste this code to simulate someone getting this code from me and it looks like it's not there but actually it's here it's just hidden here by my opera browser and now i might want to click sign up as a new user And I'm signed up. And then what we can now notice under refer a friend is that TAS now gets uh, 10 points and has one user invited. John is someone else I was testing this with earlier. So the system works. It helped you. So just a quick sum up. We created the code immediately saved to the user upon sign up inside the reusable element. And then we changed that user whom we found to be associated with a code and gave them 10 points and added the current user to the list of people invited, but only if the referral link is not empty. And then we just had a repeating group which showed all users and their points and people invited count, and also the referral link, which we created using website home URL referral and R equals current users cortex. This helped you for short tips on Bubble. Check out tipdesert.com. Link below. Cheers.